Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Gigafactory Shanghai won't be able to reopen on Monday as intended. Tesla published a patent for development of 4680 battery cells, centered cathode active material elements, and methods thereof. Lynn Creek and North Judson Police Departments add Teslas to their fleets. And, Tesla Giga Texas starts production of red multi-coat model Ys. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. It appears that Gigafactory Shanghai will not be able to reopen on Monday. Tesla workers and suppliers were reportedly notified of the update recently. Earlier this weekend, reports emerged that Tesla China was looking to resume operations at Gigafactory Shanghai after the weekend. Tesla had reportedly been looking forward to its first batch of Giga Shanghai workers being released from a lockdown that had been imposed in the city. The lockdowns were initiated as a way to control the spread of the COVID-19 virus. According to an internal notice retrieved by Reuters, Tesla would not be able to resume operations at Gigafactory Shanghai on Monday, as intended. The internal notice reportedly did not provide much detail about the reasons why the electric vehicle plant would not be able to resume operations. Operations at Giga Shanghai had been paused since March 28 amidst the city's two-stage lockdown strategy, which started in areas located east of the Huangpu River. Gigafactory Shanghai is located in the area. Tesla had initially planned to pause operations at Gigafactory Shanghai for only four days. However, production plans for Friday and Saturday were cancelled following the decision of authorities to extend restrictions in the eastern part of Shanghai. It should be noted that the ongoing shutdown of Gigafactory Shanghai's vehicle production activities has been one of the longest since the facility began vehicle production in 2019. Considering that Tesla is reportedly producing 6,000 Model 3 and 10,000 Model Y per week at Gigafactory Shanghai today, the ongoing lockdown would likely affect the company's raw production numbers for March and April 2022. That being said, Tesla was still able to finish the first quarter of 2022 with impressive numbers. As per the company's Q1 2022 vehicle production and delivery report, Tesla produced a total of 305,407 vehicles in the first quarter while delivering 310,048. Elon Musk, however, highlighted that the company faced notable challenges during the quarter. In a post on Twitter, Musk stated that Q1 2022 had been very difficult. This was an exceptionally difficult quarter due to supply chain interruptions and China's zero COVID policy, Musk wrote, adding that it was the outstanding work by Tesla team and key suppliers that saved the day. Moving to the next update, Tesla published a patent for development of 4680 battery cells, centered cathode active material elements, and methods thereof. Tesla continues to work on the development of 4680 battery cells, which will be cheaper to manufacture and be more productive than the current 2170. The manufacturer has published a patent for centered cathode active material elements and methods thereof. Tesla developed significant changes to the battery during the development of the 4680 cell, and battery chemistry changes to the cathode hold substantial cost benefits while extending range. Here, the goal is to eliminate expensive and ethically problematic cobalt in favor of a nickel-rich cathode. Tesla will add novel coatings to the nickel to provide stability in the absence of cobalt, resulting in a 15% reduction in cost per kilowatt hours. This will increase the demand for nickel, so Tesla developed a three-tiered approach to cathode chemistry using cheaper iron for medium-range vehicles, a nickel-manganese combination for medium-plus range, and high nickel content for long-range vehicles, like the Semi and Cybertruck. On September 20, 2021, Tesla filed a patent for centered cathode active material elements and methods thereof and published it on March 31, 2022. The invention generally relates to electrode active materials and methods for their formation. More specifically, the patent discloses forming metal oxide cathode materials for lithium-ion batteries. In the patent, 
Tesla reveals a number of complexities that are commonly associated with the cathode manufacturing process. The manufacturer notes that the calcination process occupies the highest portion of the manufacturing cost among all processes due to the highest capital cost of the roller hearth kilns, typically used, highest energy consumption, and long residence times. As a result, maximizing the throughput of these kilns is critical to reducing the capital and operating cost of cathode production. The invention describes ways to solve this and other problems that arise in the process. Moving to the next update, Lynn Creek and North Judson Police Departments add Teslas to their fleets. Two more police departments in the United States have added electric cruisers to their fleets. Missouri's Lynn Creek Police Department and the North Judson Police Department in Indiana have both added a Tesla Model 3. In Lynn Creek, Police Chief Jeff Christensen purchased a Model 3 Long Range, which joined the ranks earlier this week. Prior to the purchase, Chief Christensen and Mayor Jeff Davis analyzed options for internal combustion engine cruisers but decided upon the Tesla due to its expected savings, even though it is more expensive up front. It's a great investment for our town. The cost savings as far as the regular maintenance, the upkeep, the fuel savings, it's approximately about $3,000, more than one an explorer would be. We'll probably make that up with current gas prices, we could easily make that up within a year," said Mayor Jeff Davis. The Model 3 has been outfitted with police lights and sirens, and a full laptop and printer setup. Tesla destination chargers were also installed at the department to ensure the EV stays topped up, but that shouldn't be a concern, as with a population of just 300 people, they typically only drive about 70 miles per day. The North Judson Police Department also welcomed a Model 3 to their fleet of cruisers this week. The purchase was approved in January, and the electric sedan has already been delivered and outfitted police markings, but is still awaiting the light package and other equipment to be installed. Much like Lynn Creek, the Model 3 was selected for its long-term savings. A charging station has been installed at the police department, and North Judson Town Marshal Kelly Fisher says, with local electricity rates, it should only take about $2 to fully charge the battery. Moving to the last update, Tesla Giga Texas starts production of red multi-coat Model Ys. Tesla Giga Texas continues to ramp up production. Now the factory has begun painting cars in red multi-coat, in which it has never painted vehicles before. Tesla Giga Texas already started production of Model Y in almost all colors in which the car can be ordered. Cars in solid black, deep blue metallic, which was repeatedly mistaken for abyss blue multi-coat, and pearl white multi-coat, have already been spotted near the factory, which was strong evidence of this. However, Model Y's painted in red multi-coat had never been seen, so this color was eagerly anticipated. On Saturday, Jeff Roberts on YouTube shared that he spotted red multi-coat Model Ys. In the video he posted, 23 red multi-coat Model Ys can be seen, which may be evidence that the paint shop has moved from testing to producing cars in that color. Thus, to date, the only color not spotted at Giga Texas is Midnight Silver Metallic. Obviously, painting in this color should be the manufacturer's next step in ramping up production at the factory. In addition, two new colors, Abyss Blue Multicoat and Crimson Red, are also expected to be added to the paint shop at some point. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the Electric Arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.